One of my options that I can use with my object snaps is object snap tracking. If I right click on object snaps and go to the settings, you can see that object snap tracking is one of the options. I can toggle it on and off from the keyboard using F11 or it can be turned on and off with its button in my drawing aids down here on the status bar. With object snap tracking turned on, say I wanted to place a circle at the exact center of this rectangle. I could draw construction lines or I could use my object snap tracking. I'm going to start a command for circle. I'm going to find the midpoint object snap and hesitate until its name comes up. And as I start to move away from that midpoint, you'll notice that a tracking line or vector is created. And this is running horizontal across the screen. I'm now going to go to the top line and again I get a midpoint and I get a tracking vector. Where these two vectors intersect is the center of my rectangle. Once I have this, this uh, intersection acquired, I'm going to click the mouse to start my circle. And in this case, I was able to um, exactly find the center of the rectangle without having to draw any construction lines by using object snap tracking. My object snap tracking also works with my polar tracking. I'm going to go, come down to my drawing aids on the status bar, right click on polar tracking, and let's look at its settings. Under polar tracking, I have object snap tracking settings. I can say track orthogonally, which means that I will only track horizontal and vertical vectors. If I click down here and track will use all polar angle settings, that means that however I have my polar angle settings set, so for right now they're set at 30 degrees, so every 30 degrees as I go around my compass I will see a, a, a polar angle. That means that I will have object snap tracking at every one of those polar, polar angle settings. To see how this would look, I'm going to start uh, another circle and I'm going to come down here to this endpoint. When I see that line light up, and I'm just going to move the mouse away, I don't click the mouse, but now I am tracking at a 30 degree angle. I'm going to come over here to this endpoint, and again I'm going to track at a 30 degree angle. Where these two angles meet would be the center point under my rectangle, I'll click and start my circle here, and I was able to track at a 30 degree angle from each of these corners to find an exact center at that angle from this end of my rectangle. I can also use my object snap tracking with direct distance entry to find a start point based on a projection from an object snap. So for example, if I need to draw a line and I want to start my line exactly three inches from that endpoint, I've acquired that endpoint, I move away so I see my vector line, I'm going to enter three from the keyboard right now, and you notice that my start point has now been established exactly three inches from that endpoint. So my object snap tracking is here to help us be able to acquire points based on other information or object snaps and not have to draw construction lines to be able to find those points.